What's up everybody, it's Chew Flock of back at it again with another Madden YouTube video. Today I have a special one for you. This play is a like a play everyone loves running. It's right next to there with the flea flicker or trick plays. You can consider this play a trick play, although there's no designated drawn up play for this inside of Madden. There you could there's still ways you could figure out how to run it. This is a way that I was testing out for a TikTok video that ended up working kind of it works about 30 to 40 percent of the times but you wouldn't run this play when you're seriously trying to win this is like something that you could run when you're trying to mess around with a friend you could do this in squads it could probably be a lot better in squads drawn up this is one that it's just super fun to run everybody knows the hook and ladder anyways let's hop right into the play this is some pre-recorded stuff i have already these are two that were very successful out of the five or six tries I did it and then we're gonna hop into live feeds to show you guys how consistent it is and what you have to do to do it but anyways this is the play you'll see here that is what it looks like you're gonna throw it to the slant and as you see Julio makes an over the head throw and it basically is a small hook and ladder and it turned into a touchdown as you see I slowed it down right here it's gonna be an out route from Gurley and then a slant to the inside it basically all you have to do is out route because everything else is normal I threw the slant a little late. That's why it was in coverage. This was against a cover three as well. You can see we catch the ball here. He laterals it because you could still lateral while technically in contact. And look at this. Just wide open area because the other card gets pulled. I mean the other player gets pulled. As you can see, just a huge touchdown. And this is with a budget running back because Todd Gurley's not too good at all. Especially inside of regs. He is probably at the lowest he's been in Madden because speed-wise and everything. But... Like I said, this play can be huge, but also there are times where you can't get the lateral off, and it'll just be a normal slant. Like, a lot of times when you have a guy like Julio, you'll catch it anyways. But as you can see here, this is me recording it another time. This one was a little weird, because this worked, and it threw it back to Gurley, and it kind of glitched out, but there are many times when this play has worked and then not worked. But let's head over into the live feed. As you can see, we just switched over to our Xbox. I'll show you where the play is and where you could find it. It's going to be in single back when you go to formation. It's something that's, I don't know, it's it's really fun to run. But then again, it's not the best play at all. But anyways, let me get right into it and we can get this play going. The play right here will be inside of single back wing. This is the Atlanta Falcons playbook. The play will be this tight end stick right here. Like you see, there's going to be that slant right there. We'll do a random play here. I want to test it against every single coverage. But as you can see, when you hit the audible for... Uh, Christian McCaffrey you want to do out left not swing left you want to do out left so it looks like this but then again you want to hit DJ Moore as fast as you can and then you'll hit the lateral here and it could turn into a big play Christian McCaffrey kind of ran the wrong route he ran in between the tackles instead of outside of them but like I said this play can be really good as you see we'll do it again right here right back there and then you could lateral it here obviously like I said the it's really risky I wouldn't throw it unless you know where he was Obviously, there I did not see uh, Christian McCaffrey at all, but we're gonna throw this every time. Like, like this is random play, so you're not gonna throw it when you see that. So don't do it off of like uh, what you think they're gonna do. Make sure it's there. As you can see, like this is not the best way of doing it. I'm just trying to do it to show you guys that it can work, and it's the best you're gonna get. I've been labbing at this for a while because it's one of my favorite plays to run. As you can see, I didn't even move Christian McCaffrey. But like I said, like the like the chances of this work are very, very slim, but it can work. I showed you guys in clips that it does work. As you can see here, we score a touchdown off of it. I'm telling you guys, it does work a lot of times. It's just not 100% like most plays will be. As you know, most money plays aren't even 100%. So this is just more of a fun play. If you're going for fun, I threw that way too late. I don't even know what I was doing. But if you're going for more fun, you're trying to hit your a friend with a nice play, like take him off guard. This is a great one to do it with. As you can see, sometimes it's just not going to work. You're going to get a normal slant like that where you can't do nothing. That is the thing about it. There's always a positive about it. You could either hit the slant. Like, you don't even have to do it. You could always throw to, like, I don't know. If you catch it there, honestly, let me try something. You might be able to lateral it to that tight end there that's sitting there. But let's see. We'll see. So we're going to have him here. And this one looks like 
We couldn't even get the lateral there because Christian McCaffrey was running too fast. But there are so many ways where we've tried this. Me and my friend sat in practice forever. He was at my house, so we were sitting in practice, and it was just insanely hard to do it. As you can see there, if that pretty much, I guess that works because that's considered a touchdown too. But anyways, if that was a good throw, that was a touchdown as well because he was perfectly behind him on the left side where the sideline is open. But like I said, like, yeah, it's not something you're going to be trying to do when you're sweating. As you can see, you could do a hook and ladder like that. Not the best thing to do. You lost a couple yards. But it's just more fun than it is for a purpose. If you guys know any other better hook and ladder plays, make sure to let me know. Because this is stuff that I'm always looking for. Because these plays not only are really wanted by the community, but can be very useful if we can find a, an efficient one that can work almost at least 70% of the time. Like, this one is like... I'd say a good 40 to 20%, depending on what they're running. So we're going to throw this here. There's not, like, if the play ever dies like that where there's nothing at all, you could always just throw the normal slant like that. But if the play works, go ahead and try it. If you're up by 20 points in a game, go ahead and try it. We're going to just throw this one dead. We didn't even audible our Christian McCaffrey. But, like, like I said, if you're up and you're just trying to have fun, trying to get a clip, you never know. You could always send this in to a big YouTuber for a clip. This is something that's really cool. You could even hit the side, like, Right there, obviously, that's not what you want to do at all. If you can't see Christian McCaffrey in the back or whoever your running back is, do not throw it. But, like I said, there's other ways people have tried it like this where they would do a comeback like this. And then they'd smart route the comeback and it looks like this. But this way has not been too efficient for me. It's been alright. I mean, like, it works, but, like, there's no big play, like, possibility at all with that one. Like, this is one that... Like I said, like, this is a big one. I've seen this one many times in a lot of, like, videos, not TikToks, like, everything. But there, like, like I said, there's, like, ways you can run them. But, like, there's, like, a post you can run, like, an outside post versus a slant. But I just don't trust them at all. Like, we could try something right here where we do, a like, a drag versus a slant. We could see if that works. But I'm just saying there's not much you could do. I'm going to try to hit that drag slant. I'm trying to show you guys that... There's not a, like, you think there would be a lot of ways to run this, but it really, it, there really isn't. As you can see, we're just, there's nothing you really could do when it comes to lateraling the game, especially when the laterals are a lot in the air and slow. But, like I said, this is not something that you're going to be sweating your life with away. This is something you're going to be having fun with. As you can see, that was a perfect one. That is something that you could turn into a big touchdown and a big highlight when it comes to just, like, I don't know, clips for friends, clips for Twitter, anything. Like, this is a great play to run. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I kind of worked hard on this one. It took forever to find. I thought this was a little fun video. Not too serious. Not too ultimate teamy. Like, we can't. We can be ultimate teamy too much a little bit. This one takes me outside of that and gives me more room to freestyle and find something else in the game, which I really enjoyed. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick video. I hope you guys can get some good clips of this. Let me know if you have any better hook and ladder options that I can run or test out. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. It's been Chuflaka.